Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the three phases that you should go through while studying for your FE exam. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified each time we post new videos. Now, let's get right into it. So after working with a lot of students, I noticed that the students that pass with the FE, they go through these three phases that I'm about to share with you guys. And so the first phase is just about exposing yourself to the material and just getting familiar with the material. So at this point, you're not really solving or doing any problems. So for example, if you have a book or if you have a course, the first phase, you just go through the material. You go through the concepts, you go through the problems, you take a look at the solution, you don't take notes, you don't solve anything, you don't attempt any problems, okay? This phase, what it really is about is just like, again, getting yourself familiar with some of the keywords, some of the concepts, and you guys are gonna see that it's very important to do this step before going to phase two. Now, when I was actually back in college, one of my professors shared this with me and he actually recommended that I start reading the chapters before going into class. And I started doing that and I literally went from being a C, a B student to a straight A student within one semester. And if you guys wanna learn more about my college experience, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to share with you guys that. But what I noticed is that when I read the lecture before going to class, when the professor was explaining the concept, I actually started getting them because I just familiarized myself with some of the keywords, even though I didn't really understand the concept, just because I exposed myself to it, I was able to pay attention and it was easy for me to pay attention because a lot of the keywords you was talking about, my brain was like, oh yeah, we, we read about this this morning. We saw this, even though we, we don't know what it is, but I'm familiar with this. So it was easy for me to follow with the professors and just listen and take notes during class. Before, when I didn't read the chapters beforehand, even if I did try to take notes, it was hard to follow the professors because a lot of times I had no clue what they were talking about. So this is what this phase really is about. It's, I highly recommend this actually, especially if you've been out of school for a while and you haven't seen the material in a while, definitely like spend that first couple days just going over the material and going over the concept and, and just expose yourself to the material. Now let's talk about phase two. So in phase two, this is where you sit down and you really dive in. You start going over the concept, you try to understand the concept and you attempt the problems. And when you are solving the problems, it's very important that you engage with the material guys don't just solve the problem and just move on to the next one, but ask yourself questions. Why did we use this equation? How did we get here? What did we do here? What if we did this? What happens if we did this, right? These are kind of things that will show up on your FE exam and asking yourself these questions will really help you grasp the concepts. Now, as most of you guys know, the FE exam now has a lot of conceptual questions and really the only way to tackle the conceptual questions is by truly understanding the concept and understanding why did you use a certain equation instead of another equation or why did you do a certain step while solving the problem. So in phase two, this is where you really spend time in understanding the problems and sending the, the concept, attempting the problems and struggle through them. Like try not to look at the solution after trying the problem for 10 minutes. If you got stuck after 10 minutes, struggle through it and this will help you understand the concepts better. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that this is not the time where you should be timing yourself. This is the time where you should just focus on learning and grasping the concepts. Timing yourself will come later and I'm going to talk about it later, but when you are in phase two, you shouldn't really time yourself because a lot of times I've had students who they would start studying and they would start stressing about time and start timing themselves, but if you are timing yourself and you should be doing a problem under three minutes while you're trying to learn the problem, you're gonna get really frustrated and you wanna give up, right? You're gonna feel discouraged. 
So don't do that right now. In phase two, just focus on learning and be patient with yourself. You will get there. Once you understand the concept, then we can start working on time management. And that, that's something I'm going to talk about in phase three. Now let's talk about phase three. So during this phase, this is where you reinforce the material and you make sure that you grasp the concept. And also you gotta make sure that you do the problems under a certain time, because as most of you guys know, the FE exam is timed and you gotta make sure that you complete it, right? Now, if you guys want a video on time management and how to make sure that you guys complete your FE exam, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video on that. Now let's go back to phase three. So Again, this is the time where you practice. You gotta practice and make sure that you complete the questions under certain minutes. Now, on the FE exam, you're gonna get different type of questions. There are some questions that might take you only 30 seconds, especially conceptual questions. Either you know them or you don't know them. And there are some questions that might take you two to three minutes. And then there are that might take you four to five minutes if you are doing problems under structural analysis. Some of those problems can be lengthy okay so these are just a couple things to keep in mind but in phase three what you should do is review everything that you've covered at that point and then also take practice exams practice exams can really bring that gap or if you are missing any concepts they can really help you with that and you can learn from your mistakes and you can see your weaknesses and you can work on them you still have time to work on them and you should leave yourself like a week or two weeks before your actual exam Another thing I would like to add is that when you guys get into phase three, you're going to start to notice that everything starts to make sense and you're going to start making connections between problems and subjects. I've noticed that a lot of my students have reached this phase when they pass the FE exam. Jacqueline talks about it on her interview. We also have Anthony. And I think going through these three phases can really help you guys prepare for your FE exam, feel confident, and also help you pass your FE so that's it guys for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of these three phases. And if you guys like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and make sure that you guys share this video with your friends who might find it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,